If you're following along with these lessons, go ahead and close the render frame window. Otherwise, open the file Chapter 5 Exterior Daylight 04.max. We changed the position of the sun by entering a new time and date as well as location. But we notice when we render the Camera 1 viewport, our horizon doesn't quite look correct. Notice we have a line that has gray below it. The sky is a mental ray physical sky that was added automatically to our background when we created the daylight system. This is a map that surrounds our scene as a background image. A map cannot be adjusted in the Modify panel or in the Motion panel. The map must be adjusted in the Material Editor. We're going to learn to make an adjustment that will bring the horizon down and out of our view. The first place we'll go is to the Render pull-down menu. From the menu, choose the Environment option. This opens the Environment and Effects dialog and is where we'll locate the MR Physical Sky Map in the Environment Map slot. This has been automatically added as the Environment Map for our scene. In order to make any adjustments, we need to transfer the Physical Sky Map into the Material Editor. From the main toolbar, open the Compact Material Editor. Make sure you can see all the sample windows and that our Material Editor dialog is not on top of the Environment and Effects dialog. If you have to, move it. Go ahead and reposition it a little bit. And we're going to drag this MR Physical Sky Map into an available sample window in the Material Editor. Go ahead, click and drag the MR Physical Sky Map on top of an empty material slot. When you place your cursor over the material sample slot, let go of the mouse button. In the Instance Copy Map dialog, we want to make sure that we choose the Instance method. This will maintain the connection between the map in the Material Editor and the map in the environment, meaning that if we change a parameter in the Material Editor, it will change in the scene. Now we have access to the control parameters of the Mental Ray Physical Sky that's in our scene. We want to clear the Inherit from MR Sky checkbox. Right now, the parameters for Mental Ray Physical Sky are being derived from the information in the Daylight System. We need to override that information in order to correct the problem that we're having with our horizon. In the Horizon and Ground area, you'll notice that we have the ability to type in a horizon height value. What we want to do is move the horizon down so that we don't see the gray horizon color in our rendering. Let's set this value to a value of negative 0.7. So type in negative 0.7 in the value and press Enter. So let's look and see if this in fact took care of the problem. In the main toolbar, click the Render button. This will lower the horizon and hopefully lower it enough so that it's below the horizon of our landscape. As this scene renders, we can see that this in fact eliminated the issue we had with the horizon. We're no longer looking at the gray line, but are actually looking at the visual horizon of our landscape. Another effect of dropping the horizon down a little bit is that we also drop the coloring down just a little bit. You'll notice that we have a blue sky above, and as we go towards the horizon, we can see it gets a bit hazy. The mental ray physical sky is necessary to give us a convincing 360 degree environment map that allows us to look in any direction of our scene. If we want to make changes to the default parameters, we need to edit that in the material editor. Make sure you go ahead and press Control S to save the file.